All right, good afternoon, everybody. We've got, uh, this is a very, very rapidly evolving situation as we've talked about. Uh, we have some new information uh, for the citizens of Bear Creek community. Uh, we are currently issuing a mandatory evacuation for uh, the Bear Creek community that is east of US 231. So everything over here at Ed Lee Road, uh, Stone Road, and then north up to Scotts Ferry Road. So Scotts Ferry Road, south in the Bear Creek community, east of US 231, is under a mandatory evacuation at this moment. This is a result of the fire that uh, is coming from Gulf County. I've got Joe Zerchowski from the Florida uh, Forest Service who can give you guys a little bit inf of more information about that fire. All right, yeah, we just wanted to let residents and, and the citizens of Bay County, Calhoun County, and Gulf County know the Bertha Swamp Road fire originated down around Highway 22 in Gulf County yesterday. It has pushed through uh, really heavy, dead, down trees left over from Hurricane Michael. It has pushed to the north and the west. Um, it is now approximately six to eight miles southeast of the area that's under evacuation, but it's throwing spot fires out ahead of itself. While our tractor plow units are making progress on the sides, the head of the fire is moving towards the residences. If you are under any of these mandatory evacuations, we absolutely urge you to listen to your county officials, listen to the structure firefighters that are in the area. If they're asking you to leave, they're doing so for a reason. Please heed the warnings and evacuate while there's still time. All right, and I just want to thank everybody um, for your hard work in helping us get the information out about this today. We've got a lot going on. Again, it's a very rapidly evolving situation, and so uh, we're asking folks to tune in to uh, their local news outlets as well as sign up for Alert Bay notifications. We're putting those out as soon as we get the information, and those decisions are made from the command uh, folks in charge here. Uh, we also have a Citizens Information Center stood up at at the Bay County Library. That phone number is 248-6090. Uh, if you are a person who is in need of assistance evacuating from your home, if you're a special needs person or homebound, you can call 248-6030 and they can uh, set you up with some, with some assistance, okay? Valerie, do you mind repeating those mandatory evacuations? Right. So currently we have uh, this mandatory evacuation that was just called in the Bear Creek community. That's going to be uh, north of Ed Lee Road and uh, Stone Road up to Scotts Ferry Road. So this whole community east of US 231 is currently under a mandatory evacuation because of this fire that's coming out of Gulf County. But we also have a fire that we're still dealing with from Atkins Avenue. I'm going to let Joe talk about the status of that situation. But before I do, we do have uh, some evacuations remain in place, the ones that we talked about yesterday, uh, as well as uh, emphasizing that folks who live in the city of Springfield, uh, north of uh, Tyndall Parkway, south of US 231, and east of Transmitter Road are under a mandatory evacuation. We have uh, an evacuation center set up at the uh, Bay County Fairgrounds, so people can go there. We have some folks from Animal Control there who can assist with pets. Uh, we will, we're doing our very best to make accommodations for that. So if you don't have a friend or family who is outside of the evacuation area, then we do have a, an evacuation shelter set up. Um, I'm gonna let Joe uh, talk a little bit about that other fire. All right, so the Atkins Avenue fire is still at 1,400 acres and 30% contained. Um, and that really is an estimate at this time. It was extremely active today, fueled by these winds, and again, the dry, down vegetation left over from Hurricane Michael. I mean, we have a dozen plus tractors on scene, multiple helicopters, and the crews have been working throughout the day and overnight to put lines around this fire. But with these heavy winds, what it's done is lobbed embers over these lines and started new fires outside of our containment perimeter. Um, unlike yesterday, we had a lot of crews on it today and were able to get on it very quickly make rapid access to it and keep those spots small so that's why we don't see a big change in acreage on this fire um, again though please stay vigilant maintain your situational awareness if you get an alert bay if you get any notification from local fire departments or your officials please evacuate as you're told to do so it's an absolute matter of, of life and property safety right now firefighter safety and that of the public Are there any questions 
Uh, yes, there's a burn ban in effect for Bay and Calhoun counties, and several other counties are working on language as we speak. How many acres is the burn? Well, the birth of Swamp Fire is 8,000 acres and 10% contained. The smaller fires that were up by South Fork the last few days, where is the status of those? Right, that's a very good question. So she mentioned other fires in this area. There were several fires in Bay County and in the surrounding counties. And actually the, the Chipola River District has 14 active wildfires. Most of them are very small. Most of them are 90, 95% contained. And we're kind of, we're keeping an eye on them, but we're not dedicating a ton of resources to them. They've been quiet for a day or two. With the wind that we had today, we made sure to check on them, made sure to put any additional water, strengthen our lines, but our focus still remains on Adkins Avenue fire and the Bertha Swamp Road fire. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.